Hello children, welcome back to our math class. This is class 3 mathematics. So today we are going to discuss about reading and writing time. So continuation part. In the previous class we discuss about reading a time. Na hour. So in this class you are going to learn how to measure, how to read and write a time when the minutes are in the number. So in the previous class we discussed our in the hour hands in the numbers. So how will you read the time? So hour hours and write the time. So in this class you are going to learn. See the minute hands. Minute hands is in a number. So how will you calculate the time in minutes? Okay. So once again we recall the important part in the Reading and writing time lesson. Let's see. So one hour. One hour equal to 16 minutes. One hour equal to 16 minutes. One minute equal to 60 seconds. One minute equal to 60 seconds. One hour equal to 60 multiple 60 in the world. So 3600 seconds. 3600 seconds. So know that 1 hour equal to 60 minutes. This is very important. 1 hour equal to 60 minutes. Okay children. Come let's see how, how to read and write the time when the numbers, uh, the hands, minutes hand in the numbers. Okay. Now let's see. Hour hand is on a 3 and minute hand is it is on a 12. So now the correct time is 3 o'clock. Clear? The hour hand is on a 3. The minute hand is on a 12. So the time is 3 o'clock. Now the minute hand moving to 1. Means, see, so now the hour hand is on a 3 and minute hand is on a 1. Okay, so you already know that there are 5 divisions between the numbers on a face of the clock. See, here's the 5 divisions. So totally the 60 divisions. Total 60 division. So 12 to 5, there's a 5 divisions. To find out how many minutes have passed after 3 o'clock. So multiple 1 by 5. So here you want to multiple 1 by 5 because 1 multiple 5. So 5 minutes. Clear? Here 5 divisions. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 divisions. So pass means so 1. Here number 1. So multiple 5, 5. Then the minutes have moved to 10. Sorry, moved to 2 minutes. The minutes have moved to 2 means. So again 2 multiple 5. Because here 5, 5 divisions. And we want to add more of 5 division. So 2 multiple 5. 2 5s are 10. So 10 minutes. So 3 half and 10, 10 minutes. Again, in case the minute hand move to 4. Now 4 multiple 5. 4 5s are 20. So now the time is. 3 hours 20 minutes. 3 hours and 20 minutes. It's clear? Then again, the minute have, minute hand can move to the 9. So minute hand is on a 9 means, so 9 multiple 5. 9 5 is 45. So now the time is 3 o'clock. 45 minutes. Clear. So now the time is 3 o'clock and 45 minutes. 
So the time past here, past 10. We said the time, the minute have past 10. 6. When the minute hand is on a 6. So 6 multiple 5. 6 5 is of 13. So time is 3, 13. So 3 half past one. Clear? Okay. Let's see how to read a time. So first, let's see the, how our hand is on a 4. Our minute hand is on a 3. Okay, how our hand is on a 4 and minute hand is on a 3. The time read as quarter past 4. The time read as quarter past 4. And the minute hand is on a 6. As read as the time half past 4. Half past 4. Clear. So, 3 means you read as a quarter past to the hours 4 or 5. Like that. And 6 means half past 4. Okay. The time written as 4 o'clock. And here 3. So, 3 multiple 5. 3 is are 50. So, 50 minutes. We written as 4 half. 50 minutes. See? Here, the hour hand is on a 4. So, 4 hours. And minute hand is on a 6. So, 6 multiple 5. 6 files are 13. So, 4 hours 30 minutes. Okay. In case, see? The minute hand is on a 7. So, the time written as 4 hours and 7. 7 files are 35. So 35 minutes. 4 hours and 35 minutes. So here the minute hand moved to 10. The, now the minute hand is on a 10. So now the time written as 4 hours 10 files are 15. So 15 minutes. 4 hours and 15 minutes. Clear. So that's all children. I hope you all are understand this time. Okay. The time writing the minute hands. When the minute hand is on a numbers. Okay. So thank you children. Thank you for listening.